Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just finish up this back of the back of the head here. All right, <clears throat> so this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky, but we'll make it do. Um, so for now, what we're gonna do is we are going to attach. We've got the head here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the ear, and then once that's done, let's collapse. And this is where it gets a little bit weird. So let's go to vertex. And grab that one. Connect that. Connect those two. Connect that. All right, so we've got that going on. And then what I'm going to do is grab this ear here, and I'm going to connect it with the ear lobe on the bottom. And then I'm going to connect that earlobe on the bottom. And we're going to move this down just so we can see kind of the back end of it. Okay. So the ear on the side is all connected. The ear needs to be connected on the top and the back here. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab this and I'm gonna do a shift scale I'm gonna move this inward like so and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this edge here and collapse that edge and collapse that edge okay um, what that does is basically creates our edge loop. So then I'm going to loop this. Actually, let's do the same thing on this side here. All right. Let's move that in. All right. Now, here is where it gets tricky because we're actually working from the back side in. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, I think I'm going to grab these two edges here, collapse that, and I'm going to remove that one. And what we're doing is we're just narrowing down the vertices here for the, the amount of splines that we have. So we're going to collapse that one. And I'm going to backspace that. Okay, and then let's uh, grab these two down here, collapse that, remove that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, and that's kind of like the back of the ear here. And then we've got three big ones over here, so what we're going to do is we are going to take, take let's bridge let's see if we can just do this real quick let's bridge this one over here this one over here and this one over here now that's really crazy looking right now but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the vertex mode and start by kind of moving and angling this stuff in the right positions. So this is going to go forward a little bit more. And this one's going to go, this one back here is it's going to go forward a little bit more here. 
possibly down. All right, and then let's see here. This is a good one to collapse with this side. That makes an edge loop there. So we just got to fill in this this hole right here. And then up here, we're going to have to play with it a little, a little bit too. So let's try to move this forward so I can see a little bit more. All right. And let's see if what we can do is we've got all this geometry here. Let's take this and move it down a little bit more. And connect that and I'm going to just move that up a hair and we'll we'll sort out the that in a second here all right now let's figure this out so we've got and this is where this is nice because this is what this is for um, this is basically your um, your border hole uh, and finds all the holes for you. So same thing we can do down here. We can select this border here and you can kind of see where everything is. Um, in this particular one looks like we've already got a four-sided mesh. We just need to adjust and play with it. So let's Let's fix this one first. All right, so let's go in there and pick this. Let's take this one and move it down a little bit. And that's the, the one right there. And then let's take, and um, I'm using Alt X. That's really quick transparency mode. So let's collapse these two together. And Make that look like so. And let's undo the collapse here. Let's see if that makes a better hole here. Yeah, that looks it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this border here and let's uh, cap it. And that should be enough to take care of that. I'm just going to double check here. Take out the cage and show isoline this way. Everything looks okay. There, we just got our big hole up here now we have to take care of. Alright. So, with this one, we've got... And one of the things that we could have done is actually done an edge loop here. But I'm not too worried about that right now because we're going to take this in the mud box later. So, all right, let's let's do something like this. So I'm gonna put three in here, and first one is we are going to collapse with this one, move it down just a hair. 
and then let's in and out like so collapse that one so that gives us our ridge to our ear and then we've got our border here so let's take a look at the border we've got one two three four five sides I think one two three four five six sides so actually we might be able to let's just try and bridge this one so we just take this one to this one and this one to this one and let's see how this looks okay this doesn't look good right back here so we gotta fix this um, and we're going to do that by moving this one up a bit, moving this one out a bit, and this needs to be fixed here. And we're going to fix this by actually let's do this so we're going to cut this one here like so move them all the way down and we're going to do that I go in here, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to delete that face. And I'm going to just go in here and collapse this one like so. And then I'm going to go in here and collapse this one like so. And I'm going to grab these two, I'm going to backspace that out, making sure I catch that one out and I'm going to cut all the way so like that and uh, Let's take care of let's cut and this is where it gets tricky. I'm gonna cut this one down here like so. this triangle and this is where it gets a little bit weird here Let's break this, and by breaking, what that does is it takes apart all the joints here. So we're going to take these two, collapse those back together, take these two, and I created a big cut in there, so it's um, let's find out where this hole is here. There we 
go. And then collapse that in there and collapse that in there. And we're going to have to fix that edge loops in there. And we're going to have to That looks relatively decent. Um, we want to we want to fix this here. I don't like this going on. I'd I'd rather have it go up like so, and then that takes care of Let's fix the cleat back to the same thing. Um, cut that. Let's cut that. That looks a little bit better. All right, so let's just do a real quick, uh, real quick numeric check here. Uh, it looks like nothing's less than quads, and we do have a couple quads here. So let's figure this out real quick. Um, this one was okay, and I think oh, this we can just simply solve by. Cutting from A to B, grabbing that like so, and uh, let's check that again. Uh, less than that, and then grab that one right there. So that one looks good. And we just have that one quad in there, which is okay. I'm not too worried about that. So, now that that's done, um, we'll connect the head um, in a second. And that'll be our next video.